Why is life so hard at times? And when life has a big change, why is it so difficult for us to uh, transition? I tell you why. Identity. Identity plays a big thing, a big part, and even purpose. So identity. As we're as we're babies and we're children, we have no idea who we are. And our parents don't teach us who we are. Because they don't know who they are. So as a child, you just learn to find your identity in things and, and even on people. And you put these attachments of identity and purpose on these people and things. And um, as a child, right, I'm so-and-so's child. I'm this. I do this. I go to this school. I drive this car. So I, I'm putting my identity in my purpose in, in, in these person, places, and things, right? And I, and I continue to live life like that. And so as I continue to live life like that, this person, place, and thing I have attached my identity to, if it is unexpectedly gone or leaves my life, I get this devastating blow because my something happened to my identity and something happened to my purpose. And so now uh, life has this void because life is identity and purpose, right? So once my attachments of my uh, of my identity and purpose, life get taken out, then I am completely I have a void and empty again, and I struggle because it's like, whoa, wh wh what's going on? Who am I? What am I doing? Who am I? What am I doing? Right? So this is why we struggle so much as adults because this is how we've been living for our whole lives. So even when anything drastic happens, a car breakdown, um, um, a relationship has ended, uh, a job has ended, anything right we don't know what to do because we don't know who we are as individuals and we don't know our purpose because the things that surrounded us we had attachments of identity and purpose in now those things that are gone the attachments are cut off and now i no longer know who i am And this is why it is so important for parents to know who you are, to teach your kids and your children who they are. So it, they, won't, they won't have the same issues, problems, and trouble as you do. It's a generational cycle of not knowing our identity and not knowing our purpose. So how do I fix this? To know who I am and to know my purpose in life, right? So just imagine if anything happens first, when I have, when I know my identity, there is no attachments into people, places, or things. So these things can come and go and my identity won't change. Person, place, or things could happen, can go, can come and go, but my purpose still won't change. Therefore, there will be no void, and I will not panic. But to know your purpose and to know your identity was created long ago when God created man. You see, God created you with certain instructions instruction in a certain way and because of our sin and because of our love for the world we have departed that instruction and we have no idea who we are so therefore we God created man in his image in the book of Genesis says 
Now, further along down the road in the Bible, it says, we are, are being conformed into the image of Christ. So we need to be reconformed into what we were created long ago. So our image, we find our identity in and through Christ. Because how Christ is, that is the way we are to be and to live. And Christ's purpose in his life is my purpose. Not the same purpose as me dying on the cross, but being fruitful and multiplying. But I am to crucify myself. But obviously I'm not Christ and Christ came and Christ is God. I hope you get the concept of what I'm saying. But so every man's purpose is to be fruitful and multiply. That's what I'm saying. And to be fruitful is to be the character of Christ. And to multiply is purpose. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's your identity and purpose. To be fruitful and multiply. So once you learn this, and this is why it's so important to consume, 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 and drink and eat and consume. What is consuming? Consuming is to be filled, but at the same time, when some consumes something, he's eating and drinking. Be filled with the Word of God and Jesus Christ. The Spirit of God is alive. For each and every individual to give you identity. And this is why you will never, never, never fill a void when you are filled with him. Because your identity is filled from, from what, how you were, what you were created long ago. Your purpose is filled from long ago. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Know who you are in Jesus Christ. None of us know who we are in this world. We attach, we attach ourselves to many things, many people, many places. But like I said, you will not waver. When things come and go in life. Because that is not life. We don't place our life in things that are temporary. We place our life in things that are permanent. Who is Jesus Christ? For he is the life. 